Hey everyone, welcome back to Camp Keyframe. My name is Bas, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create those nice text animations just like Apple does. So I've recorded a little voice over here just um, because these texts, we can see them uh, multiple times in, in Apple animations, like the text is moving on screen, uh, following the voice over long, and it kind of does this fun, playful thing. So I've done this in the past, but I've got some new tricks that I want to show you. Um, so this is the voiceover I uh, created. Those nice and quick text animations, just like Apple does. It's very easy, looks really cool, and works great. Now you can create those nice and quick text. So it uh, loops nicely. And the first line is those nice and quick text animations. So, so I'm gonna type in those, and I want them to kind of appear on screen right after each other. So I can um, cut this layer off and duplicate it, and then here, type in those nice so then I have two words but what I can also do it's way easier just open up the source text here so if you open it up here go to text and then we have source text click on that and it makes a keyframe it's a square one and that's because it's a hold keyframe so it doesn't move in between so if I if I go a bit further and I type in nice then at this point, the, the source text changes from those to nice. And because it's a hold keyframe, it's, that means that it only changes on this keyframe, not in between here. So those nice and a little bit further and, and then here, quick text animations. Nice. So if I play this back, let's put this up, put sound up so you can hear my voice as well those nice and quick text animations so if i if i play this back so those no here i said nice so put the um keyframe over there those nice and nice and those nice and quick quick those nice and quick text and it's always a little bit of playing around those nice and quick text animations it's always faster than you think stuff like this Cool, so now that's done. So the next line is just like Apple does. So I'm going to cut this off here, duplicate it, put it over there. And then we're going to open this up and delete all these keyframes. And just type in just like Apple does. I'm actually going to duplicate it, press command D. And the bottom one here, I'm gonna make a different color, doesn't matter which one. And in here, we're going to type in just, because I want these words to, to be separate uh, objects, separate layers. So place it over there and then duplicate it in pressing command D like zoom in here just place it on top here Oop, like and then duplicate it again Apple so the red the red letters are just here for as a template so I know where it, where it goes does okay delete the red one and these four I'm gonna give them a P position and then, oh, I want all of them, uh, position keyframe, yeah. And then over here, whoop, I'm going to drag them to the right. So they come in sliding from the right to the left. Select them all, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. Open up the graph editor and then select this. I want them to pop in fast. So I'm going to put all of this to the left and these to the left as well. So it can start really fast and then gets down uh, slow. So it kind of Animations pops in. Just like Apple does. X animations just so at the just X animations just like that and then we're going to go like a frame further apple one frame and then the, so it's all one frame and this until there and then this one needs to kind of mimic the movement of uh of just like apple does so i'm going to give this a position keyframe as well but i'm going to move this to the whoop, to the left here and then give this uh, the opposite easing so this guy needs to start slow and then ends really fast so it kind of has the great the nice momentum going so text animations just like apple so that's too slow so turn that in text animations just like apple does maybe this can be a bit faster so just tweak tweak this and play around with it so now i'm going to create a null layer command option shift y or just go to layer new null object it's a null object I'm gonna cut this off here. Let's make this a separate color, make it none. And I'm going to parent all of these to this null. And the next text is, it's very easy. So I'm gonna duplicate this one here. 
go over there, delete the keyframe and then put it in the middle here, type in its and um, this null object, let's place that down here. Um, the, the transition until to this next layer is I want all of these words to kind of zoom in. But if I zoom them in with scale, they all scale from themselves. I want them to scale as one line. So that's why I parented them. So the parent now can zoom the whole thing in. So if I press scale and then zoom that in a little bit, let's just cut these layers off right there. And give, whoops, give these also some easy ease. And then now if I want to start slow and, and fast like that. And this one is the opposite. So if this zooms in, then this one needs to zoom in as well. So it needs to end on this scale 100% and then it's going to start a little bit smaller like that. Okay. Same thing here. Come in quick. And then we have this. It's very easy. Ah, I think here it needs to be the it's. Okay, this can be sh quicker. Only to be done quick, quick, quick. This is also quicker, like Not this. Less. It's very easy. Yeah, nice. And then I'm gonna open this one up and go to text and source text. And this time I'm not going to change the whole text. I'm just going to add something new to it. So in here, so it's going to it's, and then I want this to be very so space very and now it kind of it's nicely aligned in the middle because the text is aligned in the middle so now it just kind of opens up and then here it's very and then again space easy easy so now this tick 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 it opens up so let's see how that looks nice okay it's very easy and then i think here i start to say looks really cool so duplicate this here and in this case we're going to type in looks really cool and I'm going to give this a oh, position. So click on the P and I'm going to turn um, places up here. So it kind of slides down. So that means that this one needs to slide down as well. So this is sliding down and this one as well. So I put the keyframes at the beginning here, give them all easy ease and this one yet again turn it way up and this starts turned way up the other way so now we have this transition kind of you see it and it kind of turns into the other one so let's see how that looks in timing wise it's very easy looks really cool looks really cool that that is correct sir looks really cool and then we have and works great so duplicate this again Place that over there. Okay. And then let's end works great. And I also want this in separate words. So do the same thing. Make this one red and the top one. Make them separate words. So and place it there. Command D to duplicate works. Command D again. Great. Nice. Delete the bottom one. And this I want to have them kind of playfully. Uh, appear on screen so position and then maybe um, and works great okay right click keyframe assistant easy ease and the same thing yet again oh, let's zoom in here bloop bloop okay and let's turn that to the left and I'm gonna give this a hard cut so it just cuts to this and I'm going to time this of course to the voiceover Oop, wrong button See how this looks. Really cool and works great. A little bit later, I think. Okay. Cool and works great. I think around here I'm going to say now. Now you can create. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to duplicate this. And it says now. Put it in the middle. And I'm going to give this some, again, some text, source text. And then here, let's do the same thing. Now, space U, a little bit further, space can, a bit further, space create. That's it. So now we have the full thing. Let's give this uh, another null object here. So create that and then make that none. And select these three and parent them to those. So these ones are now parented to this one and this one the same. Let's just have this kind of zoom out to make it a little bit smaller here. 
like that. It's kind of the same tricks over and over again, but it makes it really dynamic. Cool, let's just give this a little bit of a zoom in here. Okay, and then let's, wow, that's really small, like that. And then give the word the those scale as well. And let's have this start bigger. And then easy ease that. All right. Those nice and quick text animations, just like Apple does. It's very easy, looks really cool, and works great. Now you can create those nice and. So it's Cut this little thingy off here to make it nice and clean. And I can do some stuff as well. So just duplicate the background here. Have it start over there. And then solid settings and make that white. And the solid settings of the dark background. I'm going to copy the color here, the dark blue. And just give all of these letters that color, these words. So now it kind of just like Apple. snaps to there. So. Okay, let's do that again here, it works great. So this, these colors, this blue color. And then I need to cut this off here, of course. Cool. Maybe we could do, let uh, looks really cool as well. Give this a little bit of a scale. So let's start here and maybe get a little bigger just while it's on screen so we can a little bit little bit of a zoom in it's very easy looks really cool and works great now you can create those nice and quick text animations cool that's it support me on patreon to download the project files for this and all the other videos thanks for watching and i hope to see you on the next tutorial thanks bye bye <laughs>